My name is Reed Maxwell. I am a professor of hydrology in the Department of Geology and Geological Engineering here at the Colorado School of Mines, and I direct the Integrated Groundwater Modeling Center. The big question that I'm working towards is how much water do we have, um, how much fresh water do we have, and how fast is it being replenished? Groundwater is really hard to observe, it's really hard to work with. We have just these very localized places where we can drill wells in the ground and sort of see groundwater directly or observe its pressure and infer its movement. And then we have some very interesting and, and novel techniques to infer how much groundwater we have, um, either from changes in storage, um, from changes in the gravity vector from space, from satellite remote sensing. And we use a lot of hydrologic modeling, a lot of groundwater models, coupled to land service models to understand and bridge that gap between this small scale and this really large scale. We tend to be very focused on technical details and communicating with other scientists, writing journal articles. We have our mechanisms of communication, but they're very kind of um, inaccessible to the public at large. And it's really enjoyable to be able to communicate what we do to a broad audience. And, you know, school kids are awesome. There he is, too. Well, why else? Where does water, where does water want to flow? Education and outreach is a top priority for the Integrated Groundwater Modeling Center. When we go to these events and see the type of enthusiasm that we saw today, it really hits home with us. It really um, solidifies why we do what we do. Today we were explaining different, um, different groundwater systems, kind of how groundwater flows and the negative impacts of pollution and the difficulty you can have extracting and treating that pollution. They really like it when we let them play the bad guy. And when we do that, we give them a syringe of dye and they inject it into our groundwater model. And they can see, you know, they can see very visually this plume of what we're calling pollution, right? It's just a general term. And they really like that visual. These education and outreach experiences are so important and can really be valuable to our undergraduate and graduate students here at Mines as well as other universities. One of the things about Colorado that's kind of cool. Um, it really teaches them skills in communication, changing behavior on the fly, all kinds of skills that are really useful in science in general. What we're doing is we're really instilling the importance of this early in their careers in the hopes that they will continue to engage with their community going forward. Thanks everybody for standing out in the snow. We're going to learn about volcanoes. Today we make a trash can by sticking a small trash can in a big trash can and basically letting liquid nitrogen um, boil and expand and then it explodes water up into the air. And the kids freak out, the kids love it. There's water in the air, there's ping pong balls flying everywhere. It's, it's a great thing for the kids. I've never done a trash cano in the snow. It did create a few extra challenges, but it also um, created a lot of fun too. It's science in action. So we talk about volcanoes. A lot of kids haven't necessarily seen a volcano in action, but they can really relate to the boom and the explosion and this material getting um, thrown up out of something due to a pressure change. So it, um, it's, it's now part of my repertoire. I've taken the show on the road a lot. Now another big aspect of our center is research. And it's mostly federally funded and mostly funded by the National Science Foundation. So I'm an aqueous geochemist. Um, my specialty is studying how water and rocks interact chemically. My research interests focus on evapotranspiration in mountain regions. I am really interested in how rocks break down or weather. My interests um, in research are ground and surface water hydrology and the modeling of those systems. We have a lot of people who do a lot of different things, um, study a lot of different areas of geology and geological engineering. So the center, I think, represents the best of what we have to offer in terms of collaboration and um, solving problems by using many approaches, many minds. We have um, a small community, and so being able to collaborate with people across campus in material science and physics. I have collaborations with professors in all different departments on campus. Um, right before this, I was in a laser lab. <laughs> and so um, 
you can't make those connections as easily at larger universities. We also do a lot of continuing education, a lot of tech transfer between research that happens here at the School of Mines and other places, um, and industry, government, other agencies working in, and consultants working in practice who want to kind of keep up and keep current in a broad range of groundwater and hydrologic modeling. We've really built a program that we can be very proud of, and we are very proud of it. Um, and I think we have really high hopes for the future, high, great plans, and um, I think we can just continue to do really great things.